Have you ever thought how your wounds will recover? How a very tiny seed turns into a large tree? How a zygote becomes a cute little baby? Mitosis is miracle of cell that is the reason for all about fantastic incidents. Do you want to know how this is going? Let's take a tour. Mitosis is a type of cell division that leads to continuity of life. If we consider a single cell eukaryote, it divides into two cells by mitosis. Development from the fertilized egg, tissue repair and growth are three main functions of mitosis in unicellular organisms. Cell cycle consists of two main phases. Those are interphase and mitotic phase. Cell growth and replication of DNA are the major events of interface. G1, S and G2 are the three phases of interface. Cell grows in all three phases, producing proteins and cytoplasmic organelles. DNA replication only occurs during S phase. Each chromosome consists of two identical sister chromatids. The centrosome replicates and gives two centrosomes in animal cells. In this stage, cell has well-defined nucleus. Nuclear membrane bounds the nucleus which contains one or more nucleoli. DNA loosely packed in long chromatid fibers. Mitotic phase can be divided into two main phases. They are mitosis and cytokinesis. Five phases in mitosis. They are prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And then Cytokinase. Let's discuss these phases one by one. In prophase, the nucleoli disappear and tightly coiled chromosomes with sister chromatids join together. The mitotic spindle begins to form. It consists of centrosomes, microtubules and aster. The centrosomes move away from each other by lending microtubules. In chromatophase, nuclear envelope fragments can be seen. Microtubules interact with the condensed chromosomes. Each sister chromatid of a chromosome has a kinetico which is a specialized protein structure located at the centromere. Kinetico microtubules from each pole attach to one of two kinetocos. Non-kinetico microtubules interact with those from opposite ends of the spindle.
In metaphase, the centrosomes are at opposite poles of the cell. The chromosome have all arrived at the metaphase plate. A metaphase plate is a plane equidistant between the spinous two poles. For each chromosome, the kinetochores of the sister chromatids are attached to kinetoco microtubule coming from opposite poles. The next stage is anaphase. It is the shortest stage of mitosis. It lasts only a few minutes. Anaphase begins when the coisin proteins are cleavered. This allows the two sister chromatids of each pair to separate suddenly. Then each chromatid becomes an independent chromosome. As their kinetical microtubule shorten, the two new root chromosomes begin moving towards opposite ends of the cell. The cell elongates as the non kinetic microtubules lengthen. By the end of the anaphase, the two ends of the cell equivalent and complete collection of chromosomes. The final phase of mitosis is telophase. In the telophase, two daughter nuclei form in the cell. Nuclear envelopes arise from the fragments of the parent cell's nuclear envelope and endomembrane system. Nucleoli reappear. Then, the chromosomes become less condensed. Any remaining spinal microtubules are depolarized. Mitosis the division of one nucleus into two genetically identical nuclei is now complete. At the end of the telophase, cytokinesis begins. It is the division of the cytoplasm. So, the two daughter cells appear shortly after the end of mitosis. By now, the organelles in the cell has replicated. Now, divide between two halves of the cells. This include microchondria, bodies, and the rough ER. Plant cells also have chloroplast. In animal cells, cytokinesis involves the formation of the cleavage furrow which pinches the cell into two. The two aspirated cells now in G1 phase in interface and ready again to begin their growth. This remarks the end of the mitosis.